Hi. As I talked about in the Wednesday video, here's the other thing I was messing around with, and um, I've been doing this for a little while. Because, I don't know, I can't keep playing this stupid game now. If you don't know what it is, it's magic. It's a card game, but it's online. The only reason I choose the online one is because I feel it's easier to work with and I don't have to learn all the rules because the game does it for me, so I won't always have questions about certain interactions. Anyway, I've made a deck. I made a couple of decks, but um, I'm just going to show it off and maybe uh, talk about what I wanted to do with it. And if I've got to play a couple of games with it as well, uh, if I know how to actually show a different view on this, but I don't know. Is it this button? Yes, it is. Anyway, um, this is one of the cards I made or decks I made. And I kind of go into this without needing like big fancy ass cards. Because if you look along the... Uh, if you look at the card and then right in the middle where it says creature vampire noble that thing on the side there that shows like the tier of card it is and like if you look up here commons uncommons rare mythic rares and some are easier to come across so i kind of look for the ones that are easier to get uh granted some of the uh cards were a little harder like if you're coming into this for the first time having no idea how to actually how to play it i'm kind of going towards that of Making these a little easier to obtain as far as like a deck to start messing with yourself if you do so feel like wanting to. What fucking sentence was that? Anyway, the concept behind this one was just kind of like pinging people to death with life ping and you don't even really need to attack with it. So it all cycles around gaining life and then if you gain life you can do damage or if they attack you it's all about just basically ending the game as quickly as possible and I've added a few things I might tweak around with it but this is what I got so far of just super low cost things all with lifelink this guy maybe I'll get rid of it I just kind of have it around for easy removal of other uh, decks that have things that rush you quick because it's a one two uh, things to get back that have like things to get back from the graveyard after they died to put it back in my hand Death touch, lifelink stuff. Uh, healing to draw cards if you need to. Pinging every turn. Uh, this you heal more. This also combines with this guy where whenever you get health, you do that much damage. Uh, this is just for removal and also lifesteal as well. This card for whenever you get a certain amount of health, you dam deal more damage. So if they attack you, you heal. So it's all about just doing as much damage as possible and we'll see how it works um that was a quick wait for a game so uh see how it goes um i'm kind of looking towards just doing weirder decks like a couple of cards you don't ever really see and trying to figure out ways to make them work i have a couple other decks that are like that some are more successful than others this is not a very good start to the hand, so I'm going to mulligan. This is an even worse one, but we're going to go with it. Uh, we'll just get rid of a land because I don't really need that. <clears throat> and again, it's all about just getting cards out quick and doing damage as quickly as possible. So we'll see how this one goes. I'm somewhat optimistic. So it's just all about healing, doing damage as quickly as possible. A little dog here. Okay, so you're going to start doing some damage quickly. You're paying him for some damage. Put you up. And then instantly. More healing. More damage. Now, hopefully I'm going to get all the other cards I need to make this work. Oh, you're going to do double enchantments. Ops, so you're going to get two up. So that's shut me down already. Which kind of sucks, because he's going to get the cards out, and I'm not getting anything right now. But we'll just do this. And, uh, actually, if I attack, yeah, we'll just attack with you. So 
So we're just... It's another thing with this card, too. When it gets up to 25 or more life, it gets a bunch more health. So... You're going to have to start dumping out a bunch of creatures to hopefully keep up what you're doing. And you're saving mana to actually ping something if it actually attacks. But it's not, so I'm just going to put you down. See, you're going to have something to cast. And now I am not going to attack, because I don't need to. He's going to start doing damage. He's got to somehow answer this. So I'm not going to attack because I don't need to. And if he actually does end up attacking with any of these little fairies, they're all going to do a bunch of damage to himself. So. This kind of sucks. I'm not getting any of the cards I really need. But he's going to have to put something big out. And now we're going to start milling cards. Oh, that's great. Milling's fine. I've already got a bunch of things I already need out. So if he attacks with all those little weenie cards, he's going to do a bunch of damage to himself. Go ahead and attack. Okay, he's not going to. Ping him for some damage. We're going to put another one out. And now we're just going to wait. I don't need to attack. He's on a timer. So, he's going to try to mill me out, it looks like. Which, uh, he's got a ways to go. But he totally can do it. He's, um, getting certain cards. So, this one might actually end with, uh, me losing. Which kind of sucks, but, hey, I was doing well to, to begin with, with before this actually came out. Eh, can't win every game. So we're just going to sit and wait. It's a waiting game. It's the dumbest thing I've ever said. I'm just trying to get one card. I doubt I will. He's going to keep playing some more cards. We're just going to put another tutelage down. If he does, then I'm just going to tap out and we'll start a new one. I'm not getting the cards I need here. But what are you going to do? I'll put another one out. And uh, we'll just sit here and wait. I'm really hoping to get a card, and I'm not going to. I'm just waiting for a huge play here. He's going to mill. I'm just tapping out because I don't really feel like waiting for this. <sighs> and we'll go on to the next one. I didn't feel like waiting that out because I was... Not going to get the cards I need. It's that Murphy's Law thing of I'm trying to show off the deck. And then immediately I lose. So. We'll go on to another one. Hopefully. Wow, this is another bad hand. So. Murphy's Law is striking and it's striking hard. I like all of these cards. We're going to get rid of you. We're going to tap, pay two life, put you down. And see if I end up getting ruined on this one as well. <laughs> put you down. We'll get another one. And let's start healing. So I'm going to hold on to this card to destroy anything that's of threat. I'm not seeing it yet, which sucks. But, here we go. Fifty-two cards to go. Let's see here. This is attacks, target night you control, gains flying until end of turn. Okay, so we're going to hold on to that. And we're not going to attack. Saving this for whatever he casts next. He's got some sort of night deck, it looks like. Double strikes, fine. He's not a knight, though. This sucks. <laughs> oh, I'm not getting any cards. I 
Okay, first strike is fine. Again, I'm holding on to this removal for a while. Eh. You know what? We're gonna get rid of you. Now. We're not gonna block. We'll take two. That's fine. Alright. Put you up. And we're just gonna wait. And he quits out. I didn't really get to see that one all that well. Hopefully we'll get lucky on one of these and actually... Let's see what I got for a card. Zenith Flare. Those X card game, X damage ones. We keep going on. Hopefully. Two kind of eh round so far. I maybe have a little bit more hope for this one. We'll see. Eh, this hand's okay. First couple of turns pretty well. He's got alright. We see what we got here. Instant attack. So we're going to try to outpace you. He's going to probably spark on the second turn. We're not going to block. That's fine. We're going to keep going. We will put down you. And we'll just get to healing. Now it's a race. Humans get extra damage. That's fine. We'll put you down. And then we'll go... Hmm. We'll put the angel down now. We have the next couple of plans turned. It's just actually getting to them. Because this is usually the answer. Yep, he's going to buff it now. All right, double strike. It sucks that I can't put the Revenge of the Ravens down yet. But that's fine. He's got to have an answer for this. Again, we're not blocking. We're going to take 8. That's fine. Take 10 damage. You're going to buff it now. So I'm hoping I can get... Let's see. We might have Ember Cleave for next turn. Um, so I think at this point... We will... Revenge of the Ravens. And now what we're going to use is one Healer Hawk to actually... Uh, defend this time. All right, so he and he's probably going to try to kill that now. If he has removal for that, again, we're going to play this card next. See, every time he attacks, he takes damage, and then he takes damage on top of damage, and now he's going to take it again. See, this is great. <laughs> and uh, you know what? Fine, we'll block. We'll block one. Just to save on the damage, why not? We immediately win. Ah, that one felt good. Alright, we'll do one more. See if we, uh... Maybe show this off a little bit more. Where red decks seem to be the ones that always go super fast, but I feel that this life ping thing, if you actually get the cards out like you're supposed to, the plan of the deck, you actually outpace their damage. Because you constantly heal on every turn. Uh, man. Every start, they all seem to be terrible. I mean, I haven't gotten any of the, uh, 
other vampires that would actually go with the one cost swaps, but now we just wait for uh, our opponent to actually connect. So we're gonna mulligan. All right, we did get a vampire of the dire moon that time. Um, I'm gonna stick with the two land because I think that's gonna be enough to uh, start us off. I think he goes first. All right. So it looks like if it's like every green deck, it's probably going to try to ramp up super fast. Let's see what he puts down. Nope, we've got, yep, okay. So, oh, swamp this time. Interesting. Okay. So what we're going to do is, uh, okay, he has no answer for that. And then we'll put down the other one. We'll get to uh, pinging him. So I already have death touch to that no matter what damage you do, instantly will kill things. All right, so he's gonna start doing a bunch of card draw. We will pay two life to get you in. And we're gonna do this guy first. Everybody attack. And he'll do, all right. So he's got to have some sort of answer for the rows, and these decks usually have stalling tactics to make sure that they don't lose to rush like this, is what I'm guessing. I've never seen a deck like this before, and now he's going through what he wants to keep for cards. So I'm hoping to outpace him. And again, I'm thinking maybe I'll get rid of this card later. What is this? We're doing extra mana. Put you down. So now we're going to do increased damage. And I'm just going to keep attacking with these two. So he's doing four damage. Our angel's got a bunch of health, so if he doesn't have a huge removal, which he probably does in this turn, because... That's how these things usually go. And this is one of the weaknesses, I guess, to the deck. Is if they have huge removal, that basically kills my momentum. And he's just going to be able to get his big things out to prevent me from actually uh, killing him before. So, Securitus Roots, okay. Yeah, Pete's just trying to get a bunch of land out as quickly as he can. But I don't think he's got... I think I'm going to win on this turn. Okay, let's do the math here. If I give everyone lifelink, I cannot because I don't have the land. So unless he's got... I don't have any more lifelink here, so we're just going to do... The damage. See if he's got an answer for this. And he's dead. So yeah. I was able to get the uh, kill in before he was actually able to get any of his cards out. Because he has a bunch of land coming out. And I'm guessing he's trying to build up as something huge. And you just outpaced him. That's this deck really quick. Um... Let's see what I got for a card. Castle Garen Break. That sounds good. If you're trying to do some sort of ramp deck, but that's for people far smarter at this game than me. But that was just a quick look at this. I've got a couple other decks lined up for other videos, but I hope you guys appreciated this. Um, I guess you can use it as a base to be like. All right, I see what he's got here, but you can probably figure out way better cards to use than what I got. I mean, you didn't even see some of the other ones here. Donna Hope, thanks for getting more card draw, the Ravens. It's, I like it. And uh, that's going to do it for today. We'll uh, see you guys later. Have a good one.